right, music fans, welcome back to the Real Music Observer. I'm Dave, observing real music in real time for real people just like you and me right here. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, Chicago t shirt. Um, last night, what a great show! What a great time. First of all, uh, I want to thank uh, Jeff and Holly Coffee. Uh, Holly, who uh, got me and my son into this show, and we had just VIP treatment the whole time. Uh, this was a special evening with great music, and uh, the coffees are such wonderful people. And uh, who'd have thunk uh, last year when I was uh, putting my two cents in about how I thought Jeff should be the lead singer for Chicago, uh, and getting beat up a little bit on YouTube and various other platforms that I'd be standing here telling you that uh, I was at a show in Fort Myers uh, with this band that I hadn't seen for 31 years. So showing my age a little bit and it's a little depressing. 1986 is when I saw Chicago the last time uh, I saw them at the Providence Civic Center as a 21 year old. So, uh, just an amazing show, and the coffee's just great people. I want to keep emphasizing how awesome they are. Uh, this, these are regular people, so just, just saying, uh, this was not pretentious, this was not difficult. I brought my 13-year-old because my wife is still kind of not able to navigate uh, with her broken foot in three places, so it was, um, uh, she was nice enough to let me go <laughs> and uh, the bargain the deal was to take the 13 year old and he he actually had a really good time he enjoyed the show although I have to say this um, it's getting a little depressing that you look around the room and most of the people there are blue or white haired people now not all of them there are a lot of people my age and maybe a little younger a little older but this is a band by the way that is still fantastic live. Uh, Jeff Coffey, uh, their newest lead singer, their, uh, the newest member of the band, uh, he is phenomenal and what's great about Jeff is his voice is really good on the super old material because before Satara broke his jaw in the fight, uh, the bar fight, it's a kind of a famous thing, then he had his jaw wired shut and his breathing and his delivery and everything just kind of changed. Uh, Peter was just kind of this high voice. He wasn't he wasn't as distinctive. And Coffee really can nail those older tunes like uh, "I'm a Man." He just he just sounded phenomenal on the older songs uh, prior to the Satara accident. And uh, I made sure I told both. Uh, Jeff and Holly that and uh, he and what's really terrific is the Chicago 2 project uh, which they're gonna do a live DVD of we're gonna hear all of those classic tunes which by the way they worked into the set some of those songs and quite honestly <laughs> the folks there I think they were just they wanted to hear the hits and I get it um, Chicago 2 you've got to be hardcore uh, early on Chicago fan to really dig the music off of that, which I do. I, I like, you know what, here's the thing about Chicago. I like all of their periods. Uh, the 80s is when I more or less cut my teeth on it, but as a classic rock DJ who worked at classic rock radio, uh, we were all over Chicago 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I used to dig into Chicago 3 because I think it's just a fascinating album. Uh, there's there's so much good stuff in there. Uh, and this is really when you hear sort of the rock jazz fusion elements and psychedelic. And you had Terry Kath, who is still with us, who phenomenal guitar player. Uh, speaking of guitar players, one of the funniest moments from last night, and I alluded I looted a little bit on YouTube to this, or Twitter rather. Uh, guitar player, so we're backstage at the end of the show, and various members of Chicago are walking by us and we're saying hello. Uh, Robert Lamb, who looked very tired, who is 73 years old and on stage acts kind of like a 40 year old. We'll just say that. He is just 
phenomenal, as are all the members. Jimmy Pankow, who I think is 70, he just exudes so much energy on stage. So Lou Pardini walks out. He's a keyboard player. He's a guy who uh, is really big in Japan, I think, uh, with his solo material. He sings this smooth jazz tune uh, called What Might Have Been, which is just a, a killer soft rock song, jazz song. Uh, he also wrote a song for uh, Smokey Robinson called Just to See Her. You may have heard that on the radio a few times. That's Lou Pardini. He shakes my hand and I'm gracious and I say hello and tell him he did a great job. Then guitar player Keith Howland walks out <laughs> and my son standing next to me. This is hilarious. Keith Howland goes, hey, you're the, you're the real music. And my son just, he just started laughing and he's like, dad. You're famous. I go, yeah, okay. And I look at Keith and I said, really? I said, really, you know me from these videos? And he's just shaking his head and nodding and kind of laughing. And I just told him he did a great job. And at that point, my night had been made because Keith Howland knew who I was. So that was kind of a cool thing. And he, he just, by the way, Keith is a guy who you need to watch play guitar because he's not going to get a lot of press he's not going to get a lot of the accolades that some of your guitar heroes will get but on stage he's note for note flawless he adds a real psychedelic element that no other chicago replacement guitar player was able to emulate now Dwayne bailey i like a lot i thought he was a great guitar player he was a perfect 80s kind of guitar hero sounding guitarist. Uh, if you listen to some of those live shows from that era, uh, Dwayne, <clears throat> Dwayne kind of went off. I mean, he went off on his own. Uh, Keith, I think, s sticks to the playbook and then adds a layer of the Terry Kath sound that had been missing uh, for decades, really, since Terry passed, maybe a decade and a half or so, since, what, 78? And uh, Keith joined in 95. He's been with the band Scary for 22 years. Uh, he's great. The band put on a phenomenal show. The Chicago 2 material was executed flawlessly. And I can't say enough about this band. Uh, second time seeing them, VIP treatment. Again, thank you so much to Jeff and Holly uh, for being so gracious. And my son had a great time. And hey, it's the RMO having a good time thanks to YouTube and all of those folks that support this channel. I appreciate you all. God bless. We'll be back with another video real soon. I'll talk to you then.